I'm gonna wait just a second. I was trying to do a live before and then I had my daughter come in and interrupt and I went ahead and deleted and starting over. So um, welcome to Monday. It is Monday the week before the week of Christmas. How are you guys doing with um, shopping? Is shopping done? How is your heart this week? Are you um, going into Christmas with anxiety or depression or with extreme joy and hope and excitement? Um, just curious, drop down below how you're feeling this week. Are you full? Are you anxious with, you know, finances? Maybe you're anxious with, you know, should I, shouldn't I go meet with family or what, you know, what's on your heart right now? Just write it down below in the comments. Um, today, while I was working out, something came across my mind and I wanted to share with you the, uh, the thoughts that I was having. And um, also my mentor was talking about it today in his live and um, what happens in secret always comes out. And it can be, so I'm really big on integrity, doing what's right when no one's looking, doing the right thing always, whether I get accolades, whether I am acknowledged, whether anything, anybody else even knows, do the right thing. It's kind of like that idea when in the Bible it talks about, you know, give but don't give so loudly and tell everybody that you're donating or giving. Don't be so obnoxious and all of that. So all of that kind of thing is like swirling through my brain because that's like the heart of who I am. I'm going to tell and say the truth as best I can. Um, and I'm going to live by what I say as best I can as well. So as my mentor was talking through this idea, he was talking about it on our bodies and how our food, let's just say we just sneak a donut or we sneak a bunch of sweets and we don't actually pay attention to them. We're like, oh, this isn't going to matter or anything like that. What happens though is your body is going to keep score. Your body is going to know, even if no one else knows that you stopped at McDonald's for breakfast before work every single day that week, no one's going to know but your bank account and you and your stomach or your hips or your thighs or your mental fatigue or all of that. No one's going to know but your body is going to show it. It's going to come out, okay? And I say that because that was me. If I can be completely honest, there was a whole year of me when I was teaching that I would run, I would get up early, I had to be at work at about, um, I was there at 6.30, 6.45 every morning, and I was so, so overweight, I was so stressed, I was so full of um, addictions and all of these other things, and I would run through the McDonald's drive through that was two blocks over, every single morning for a French vanilla sugar-free iced coffee because sugar-free matters in this at the moment. Um, and I would get two Egg McMuffins and two hash browns and I'd eat those and still eat a humongous lunch that day. No one else knew but me, okay? And then obviously the weight that came on. Second of all, the thing that came up when I was working out was that my gym, my garage was cold. I'd even turned the heater on and it wasn't warm yet, it was cold. My feet were cold, my hands were cold, the dumbbells, the barbell, everything was cold. Everything about that, I had to psych myself up to do it. Would anybody care that I didn't go work out? Probably not. Would I care that I didn't work out? Probably. Why? Because I have a goal. I have a goal to rehab my pelvic floor surgery. I have a, a goal to become strong and have enough muscle mass that I don't get diabetes, that I don't get heart disease, that I can eat and nourish my body and move my body functionally the rest of my life. I want to be in that casket buff. I want to be in that casket knowing that I could almost carry myself out that door, right? Out, out into the grave. And I know that sounds really morbid and gross, but that's my goal. I want to be someone who is so functionally fit, functionally nutritious, you know, nourished. I want to live as long as God would let me live. And I can't do that if I'm doing things in secret that no one else cares about. In, in a bad way, I mean. But I can also do things in secret that matters. Like me going out to work out, I recorded things for my personal self and things like that. And I don't record everything for and share with everybody because who cares? In the long run, who cares? I do. So when we do things in secret, make sure that there are things that matter toward what is your priority, toward the actual goals you want to live. Live with integrity. Do things that are right toward your goals because it's toward your goals. Not because you want someone to give you a good old slap on the back or, oh, you're so inspiring or anything like, no, do it 
for you. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Do it in secret. Again, whatever happens in secret always comes out. It can be good or bad. Your choice. All right. If you have not joined my free private Facebook group, it's a VIP functionally alive group. Please go ahead and try to join that today. I will um, accept you into the group. Um, but if you need help with anything, uh, I would love to help you in that group. I'll talk to you soon.